The fit-based genre has gained more momentum in the film industry. Just recently, we were at the movie premiere of yet another fit-based film titled Ikembiwom, meaning I have decided. Take a look. Fit-based film, Ikembiwom, which means I have decided in English, premieres in Lagos. Based on a true story, I have decided to follow Jesus is a Christian hymn that originated in Assam, present day Mehalaya, India. If we see anything we look like that Potokiri man and enslaved for your house, now your head go follow us go shrine. Have we got into any problem? <gasps> problem full ground. According to P. Job, the lyrics are based on the last words of Noxang, a Garu man, a tribe from India which then was in Assam, who converted to Christianity in the middle of the 19th century through the efforts of an American Baptist missionary. He is said to have recited verses from the 12th chapter of the Gospel of John as he and his family were killed. The formation of the martyr's words into a hymn has been attributed to the Indian missionary Sahu Sundar Singh. Abomination! What is That fisherman Ogundu! What you have to No Gundu! Come back with that Potokiri man religion! This story was abducted into the film A Baby Worm, set in old Eastern Nigerian society. Almost like around the world, every Christian sings, I have decided to follow Jesus. But many people do not know the story behind that hymn. It was a very bloody story of people who gave their lives because they decided to follow Jesus. It is the story of that hymn that we have put together into a movie. So it's a very thrilling and exciting movie which everybody needs to watch. It's available in more than 10 languages. English, Portuguese, Spanish, French, a lot of languages. It's not the way of Jesus now I'm fully. I take my husband and go now. That's what you want to be that. Oh no, cut her head, come on. Using the realistic directorial approach, director of the film, based on his research, decided that it was best for the film to be done in pigeon parlance. It's not expressionism, it's realism. Because it is a true life story, and I want to do a movie that the society and audience will resonate with. The movie was actually shot in PG. So I did a little research on the Creole. And I found out that the Africans spoke Creole first before the main understanding English. So both the Francophone Africans and the Anglophone have their Creole. But for us it's a PG. So I decided to do it in PG. So now when the cast came and I told them we are going to film in PG, they were ah Pigeon, epic in pigeon. I said, let's just try it. By the time we shot the first scene, everybody was excited, and they, and they have not commit. They all committed themselves into it because they were excited. Well, it was an awesome experience. They never expected it, and that was it. Some of the actors shed light on their role in the film, laying emphasis on the storyline and its impact. It was quite challenging first because I had to stand on my toes all through the days of the shoots. I felt some some muzzle pains, you know, thereafter. Uh, apart from that, I enjoyed myself because when I encountered the script, I was quite enthralled because it's a true story. And um, I was playing a prominent role. And so it gave me room for a lot of interpretation. You know, it's, it, 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 in fact, in the, in the interpretation, I had to, all the songs I used, I composed them for the purpose of, of the movie. You know, so that was how how interested I was um, in and involved emotionally, you know, in the film. And just after seeing the fifth best film, some of the guests talk about their first impressions and how much of an impact the film has on them, describing it as an instructor film. It's an instructive film uh, that pictures the advent of Christianity in Nigeria, particularly Ibo land. And um, so much to learn, particularly the younger generation, 
to see what it took for some of the churches to see in your village, villages, uh, how they started. Some people paid for them with their blood, with their family, ex banishment, being exiled and all that. It's a really, really brilliant watch. Um, I particularly love the fact that they had an aim, they had a message that they wanted to pass and they were able to communicate that. And it's beautiful that with art, we get to trap things in time because that event happened, a couple of us don't know the event, but because of they were able to use art, turn it into a movie, we're able to trap that beautiful story and aside from today, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, somebody can come and see that film and appreciate how beautiful and how important that singular choice by the young man, I've forgotten his name, the main character was such a beautiful movie. No woman would accept that new religion over my dead body. I'm not going to fit live the tradition of my father and my mother. Go go and follow one poko grima and they tell you to. Egg Baby Worm successfully trapped the story in time by bringing to life an historical moment in Christian history, a challenge to the now increasing rise of Christians globally. Entertainment News returns shortly after the break. Please don't go away.